Hi all, Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we are going to talk about my New Year's resolution, which would be checking up on all my battery powered instruments. That normally you just buy an instrument, you plug in a battery and you forget about it until it says battery empty or you see some crystal formations around the battery lid and you know you have to do some cleaning or you risk damaging your measuring equipment. As batteries are relatively cheap, it is kind of stupid to not invest in changing all your batteries at least once a year or every two years. So let's take a look at all my instruments and go through their battery conditions. And right now on the screen up here behind me, we can see there's two visitors to kaiserpowerelectronics.dk right now, one from Chesnia and one from Russia. And the last 48 hours of YouTube live data says it's over 2000 views. So Thank you very much. Over the years you get to do a pretty good collection of multimeters, LCR meters, thermometers, some other kind of different test equipment. So this is just what I could easily found around my workbench, so that is still quite a lot. So let's just uh, quickly browse through them. Have a nice um, Fluke 117 True RMS multimeter here. I think I got this when I finished my apprenticeship as an electrician some 12, 13 years ago. And the same for the Elmer. That's, uh, well, that was uh, also a gift at that time. The uh, Fluke T5 600 tester here with a clamp on meter. That is from around the same age where I worked as an electrician. It uh, was just tossed out, but nothing wrong with that. Another one that I got that was just tossed out was this old this old fluke meter. Now where did I put that? Well, I put that out in my garage. So here it is. An old fluke 77 multimeter. Um, also was just thrown out, but works as a charm. Then we have a cheap Chinese LC meter, LCR meter. Has served me pretty well, but the probes are pretty bad, low quality. Then my LCR meter DE5000 from DER, which is the one I use daily. I also have the EEV block, 121 GV multimeter, which has Bluetooth and a app on my smartphone. That's very nice to do some remote readings. A high precision thermometer that goes up to 1200 degrees Celsius with a nickel chromium sensor here and also has a large clamp on here for measuring on pipes and tubes and such. When we get to the real clamp on meters, then I have some no-name OEM up to 400 amps here and a from a Bielthema, which is quite nice because to the price you can get a 1000 amp clamp on meter for both AC and DC. So this is Really a nice meter to have. Then there is the thermal imaging camera, 32 times 32 pixels. I got a um, video re review about this, so check that out if you're into buying a sub $100 thermal camera. And a regular infrared thermometer. And here I have a small IV or IU simulator which is simply a milliamp or 0 to 10 volt analog simulator. So you can use this to test analog inputs on PLCs and other kind of industrial components. But it does not turn on, so that probably needs a new battery. Starting out from an edge, the thermal camera uses some rechargeable IKEA batteries, AA. Very cheap and also very nice for something like this that actually consumes quite a lot of power. So I change these quite often. So I'm not too worried about these gassing out or crystallizing or some kind of acid leaking out. Now the uh, infrared thermo thermometer uses the original battery it came with. Uh, that's stamped for 082020. So that's still a pretty um, decent battery. Then we have the EEV block multimeter here. 
uses some uh, cheap IKEA one-time use batteries and I'm not too sure that I trust these so um, I will change these here uh, in the uh, field multimeter using some Vata high energy batteries with no date code on them it seems what it has here 17 so they are some three years overdue then here we have a 2020 marked industrial energizer battery in the thermometer that will last a good time now uh, funny enough in the elma multimeter here it doesn't use a 9 volt battery but uses two small energizer 1.5 volt triple a batteries let's see if it has a timestamp 2027 so with no signs of uh, any leakage those are just going to remain in there i would say that i have been pretty lucky that there doesn't seem to be any uh, equipment here with leaking batteries so that's quite nice the old fluke 77 also has an industrial uh, energizer battery which i put in recently as it's for 2022 but now the fluke multimeter that has some yeah weird no name alkaline power maker but still stamped for 2023 so yeah no leakage assumed to be good then in the cheap chinese lcr meter here we have one 9 volt battery stamp for 2012 and that also shows a battery symbol when turned on so this is getting changed the uh, my regular lcr meter uses a golden power green energy which assumes uh, 2018 no signs of leakage and doesn't ask for a new battery so it will remain the same now this one had run out still has the plastic on but that's also for 2007 so that's a good 13 years overdue and has also started to leak out so there we have it the battery acid or simply uh, the moist can do this that it starts to react with the air and some acid leaks out and you get these green crystals from reaction with the copper terminals so I got to get that cleaned up and change that. The uh, Bill Timmer clamp on meter, 2014. But luckily, no signs of crystallization. So even though it's six years overdue, it is uh, in a good shape still, but getting changed nonetheless. Now for the. Um, 400 amp clamp on meter it has this actually uh, interesting battery case for AAA batteries i have not seen that before makes it pretty easy to uh, to change out and also quite funny that it actually ah it's a replacement for a nine a nine volt battery would actually fit into that but as it's only made for three volt operation that would probably damage it and let's see, there is no date stamps on these, but it's a fairly new meter. I think it's two or three years old, so I'm not going to change those either as they look fine. Thank you for following Kaiser Power Electronics in 2020. There was a lot of views on the YouTube channel during the pandemic and the initial shutdowns in the spring and start of the summer. And I'm really glad for the huge amount of new subscribers that I got in that period. So looking back at 2020, it has not been a bad year for Kaiser Power Electronics as I gained some more time to do things that I really love. So I hope that you will follow my New Year's resolution and give some love to your own measurement equipment. Be sure to take them out once a year, check the batteries and until next year, see ya.